My name is Chloe and welcome to the next day of Vlogmas. I don't even know what day it is. I have lost track completely. But um, today I am here to open this book. So my daughter just picked this one. It is a tiny little paperback and I'm feeling really good. So if you have not seen one of these videos, at the beginning of the year I asked my mom to pick 24 books and wrap them up um, so I could open one every day of Vlogmas. So now this will be a little book review, a little vlog, and a little kind of blast from the past. So um, it is October. October 3rd. This is um, really the season that I love. It is still really warm here in Kansas, but we're starting to get cool mornings. Um, I think I said that in the last one because um, I just love this time of year. So that's really all that's going on in our world, but um, let's just go ahead and open this book. Okay, it's got black on the back with red words, which me makes me think thriller. Oh, okay, the back says from the author of The Night Olivia Fell, which I love that book. So, Behind Every Lie by Christina McDonald. I had wanted this book for sure. So, this one, I can't remember what it's about, but this feels cool. Like, I almost thought mom bought, like, a, a super used copy that was taped here, but um, that's not what happened. It's supposed to be, like, shattered glass, and it says, if you can't remember it, how do you prove you didn't do it? So, I think this is a girl, uh, Eva Hansen, wakes up in the hospital after being struck by lightning and discovers that her mother, Cat, has been murdered. Eva was found unconscious down the street. She can't remember what happened, but the police are highly suspicious of her. Determined to clear her name, Eva heads from Seattle. Seattle to London, Kate's Kat's former home for answers. Um, as she unravels her mother's carefully held secrets, she realized um, her that she doesn't want to know the truth. So, told in alternating perspectives from Eva's search for answers and Kat's mysterious past, Christina McDonald's Behind Every Lie is complex and emotionally intense. Cannot wait. I, like I said, loved Christina McDonald's other book uh, that I read. And this, like, I've really been craving thrillers lately. I've really been in, like, a romance contemporary streak. And especially a lot more YA than lately, than, like, usual. And so this is perfect. This is perfect. It's 300 and something pages. 306. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that is that. I'll let you know what I think. Hey everyone. So, um, first of all, can you tell that I film on Sundays? I am always wearing red and red is not my favorite color. I don't love it, but Chiefs play on Sundays. And so, um, if it's a, if it's a Saturday, I'm wearing purple. If it's a Sunday, I'm wearing red. And so you can always tell my filming days based on that. But, um, so back to back, this is a week later and I have finished behind every lie. And I found this little note from my mom inside. It says, because I was on your want list and um, love this. So thanks, mom. Because I've been asking her, like, how did you think of these? But this one was on my want list and it is so good. So this is um, about this girl, Eva, I think is her name. She wakes up in the hospital. Like she starts the book. The book starts with her having a memory of like doing something somewhat violent and then she wakes up, the, the rest of the book goes on, then she wakes up in the hospital. She has been struck by lightning and her mother is dead. And we are trying to figure out, Eva is one of the main suspects, but she, she doesn't have an alibi because she doesn't remember anything from that night. And so, of course, she's kind of being investigated, but they don't have enough evidence to like full on like convict her or, or like arrest her or anything. So um, the whole book, we're kind of like, did she do it? Because there's a lot of family secrets with her mother and her and her mother have a very strange relationship. So her brother is a part of this story. Her fiance is a part of this story. Like there are people everywhere. And this book, I, this is a thriller if you couldn't tell. Um, and I really respected it because there's one character that's introduced somewhere in the beginning and then he just kind of disappears for most of the book. So I'm like, okay, as a thriller reader, that's going to be the character because he doesn't really have a purpose, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to be the killer. And this this took me by surprise. Um, it wasn't like an, an epic um, twist. But it took me by surprise, and it wasn't the formula that I've read so many times before. So I would definitely recommend this one um, if you're if you like books where you're not really sure. I mean, the person who it was is obviously like it was somebody in my head that it could have been. But like I said, I was pretty sold. It was that character that was mentioned in the beginning, and then kind of not later. So I'm trying not to be spoilery. Um, but 
I really enjoyed this book, and I think this kind of cemented um, Christina McDonald as somebody that I will continually buy from and read from, and um, I really like this book. So I definitely recommend Good Job Mom, and um, we'll see you tomorrow.